Now the historical signs that owners will notice are weight loss, polyphagia, that is increased eating, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, polydipsia or increased thirst, sometimes taking the or increased breathing rate, hyperactivity, there may be times where cats suffering hypothyroidism run around flat out. One of my cats would do that at 11 o'clock at night, just be sitting there and suddenly get up and run around the room several times. Now the physical findings that veterinarians are looking for is a large thyroid gland noted on palpation of the neck. Uh, poor body condition is usually noted, that is skinny ribs, bones protruding, Listening, listening to the heart, also the veterinarians may hear a heart murmur and they can hear an increased heart rate, which is known as tachycardia. And there may also be an abnormal cardiac rhythm known as a gallop rhythm. It'll also often be the case that the coat is unkempt and dull looking and often the claws will be thickened. What are the risk factors? Well, no one knows why feline hypothyroidism occurs. However, some reports have linked feline hypothyroidism to some canned food diets. The other risk factor is aging. Now, feline hypothyroidism also can look similar to a couple of other diseases. So the differentials for a cat that may have hypothyroidism includes cats that have hepatic disease or renal disease, diabetes, and also cats that have cancer. And for that reason, to diagnose hypothyroidism, your veterinarian will need to take a blood sample and send to the laboratory or run it in house.